The AI news in the past seven days has been insane, with so much happening in the world of AI. So in this video, we're diving into some of the latest AI developments from major players like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and more. We'll explore Microsoft's integration of DALI 3 into Paint for Windows 11, Amazon's new AI assistant queue for business, Google's musical AI experiment instrument playground, Elon Musk's predictions about AGI, Inflection AI's Advanced Model Inflection 2, Runway's Motion Brush Tool for Animating Images, Speculations about OpenAI's new model QSTAR, Amazon's Titan Image Generator for Developers, Google DeepMind's Material Discovery Tool GNOME, and Stability AI's Fast Image Creation Tool SDXL Turbo. Alright, so let's start with this. It's ChatGPT's birthday. And in the past year, it has become incredibly popular for its realistic responses. Although it doesn't have emotions like humans, it has answered millions and billions of questions and raised important discussions about AI's role in society. ChatGPT quickly became the world's fastest growing software, leading to the creation of similar chatbots by companies like Microsoft and Alphabet. These rivals, however, haven't overtaken ChatGPT's market share. The excitement around generative AI has impacted many sectors, including cloud computing and the entertainment industry. This trend has also boosted the value of companies like NVIDIA, which supplies the chips for these AI systems, and cloud service providers like Microsoft and Amazon. After ChatGPT's launch, big tech companies began investing heavily in AI. Okay, next, Amazon's new AI assistant, Q, was unveiled at their reInvent conference, marking a significant shift towards business-oriented services. Q is designed to integrate seamlessly with Amazon's cloud services, such as AWS, S3, Salesforce, and Slack, focusing on streamlining business operations. Unlike other AI tools like ChatGPT and Bard, Q specializes in handling business-related queries, using specific enterprise data and systems. Users can tailor Q to access particular data sources, and set permissions within their teams. Interaction with Q is conducted through a browser-based application, facilitating easy communication and response retrieval. Amazon plans to incorporate Q into several services. It will enhance Amazon Connect by improving customer service functions. For AWS, Q will simplify various tasks and assist in coding challenges, akin to GitHub Copilot. Additionally, Q will serve as a plugin for enterprise systems, connecting with multiple business tools. All right, next, Google recently launched a new AI experiment called Instrument Playground. This tool allows you to generate music clips inspired by over 100 instruments from around the world. You start by naming an instrument, possibly with an adjective like upbeat or gloomy. The output is a 20 second clip, often abstract and not always resembling the chosen instrument's sound. Designed by Simon Dury at Google Arts and Culture Lab, it uses Google's Music LM. The experiment is intriguing, offering less predictable and more abstract results than expected. For instance, angry tuba might yield a sound more akin to a synthesized organ than a tuba. Users can further shape their music using options like ambient, beat, and pitch, and even download their creation as a WAV file. This experiment, accessible to anyone with a Google account, invites creative exploration in music composition. Next, Elon Musk recently shared his thoughts on AGI at the DealBook Summit with CNBC's Andrew Sorkin. Musk predicts that in less than three years, AGI will be a reality, surpassing even the brightest human minds. He expects AGI to excel in various fields, from writing novels like J.K. Rowling to making new discoveries in physics and inventing cutting-edge technology. His bold claim has sparked mixed reactions online, with some people excited and others skeptical about the timeline. Musk's prediction comes amidst his launch of a new AI chatbot, Grok, which he claims has a better sense of humor, compared to OpenAI's ChatGPT. He also made headlines by stating that he wouldn't be influenced by major advertisers like Apple and Disney, who recently pulled out of advertising on his platform, X, due to some of his tweets. Musk's stance on advertising and his prediction about AGI's future have both generated significant attention and debate among online communities. Okay, now, Inflection AI has introduced a new AI model called Inflection 2, surpassing Google's top model, Palm 2, in performance. This new model excels in various tests, particularly in understanding and solving complex problems in different fields, including science and law. Alongside this, Inflection AI offers Pi Personal Assistant, an AI chatbot available on web and mobile platforms, and also through popular messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook, 
and Instagram. Pi is designed to answer questions and provide advice on a wide range of topics. In benchmark tests like the Massive Multitask Language Understanding MMMLU and the MBPP, Python programming problems, Inflection 2 outperformed other AI models, showcasing its advanced capabilities in both general and specialized knowledge domains. These achievements highlight Inflection AI's potential in the competitive AI market, posing a challenge to established players like Google and OpenAI. The company also plans to develop an even more powerful AI model, leveraging a larger GPU cluster for advanced training. Next, the latest AI tool from Runway, the Motion Brush, is impressing everyone with its ability to animate AI-generated images. This tool adds movement to pictures, such as trucks driving on roads, people walking, or leaves fluttering in the wind. Users can easily animate by uploading an image to Runway, selecting the Motion Brush, and drawing over the parts they want to animate. The tool allows for animations up to 16 seconds, which can be downloaded and shared. Runway's updates also include Gen 2-style presets and improved camera controls, enhancing the overall user experience. The interface is similar to standard image or video editing software and offers various subscription levels, but the Motion Brush is currently in beta and available to all users. Runway is free to sign up, with options to use Google or Apple for registration and an exclusive single-use sign-on for enterprise users. All right, next. OpenAI might have developed a new AI model called QSTAR, rumored to be a sign of AGI. This development is significant because it could lead to more advanced AI systems. However, OpenAI hasn't commented on these speculations, which gained traction after some internal company changes. Experts say that AI's ability to solve math is a big step, but it's still challenging. AI models like ChatGPT can do math, but not always reliably. Solving math requires AI to understand complex concepts and plan ahead. This capability could extend to other tasks, such as coding or analyzing texts. However, excelling in math doesn't mean we're nearing superintelligent AI. Simple math is different from complex mathematical theories. AI models often show inconsistent abilities, sometimes struggling with basic problems, but excelling in more complex ones. The excitement around QSTAR follows a pattern seen before, like with Google's Gato model last year. Such hype can distract from actual AI issues and impact regulatory discussions. The recent changes at OpenAI highlight the challenges in balancing technological progress with responsible management. Next, Amazon is stepping into the AI image creation arena with its new Titan Image Generator. This tool, announced at the AWS reInvent conference, enables developers to create apps that can generate images from text. Unlike standalone applications, Titan is designed for developers and requires access to Amazon Bedrock. Swami Sivasubramanian, an AWS executive, highlighted Titan's capabilities, including changing backgrounds in images generated from text. Targeting business applications, it differs from consumer-focused image generators like OpenAI's DALL-E. A key feature of Titan is its invisible watermarking, a commitment Amazon made to the White House. This watermark, explained by Vasi Falomin of AWS, is designed to be undetectable and permanent, different from typical image metadata. To identify these watermarks, Amazon provides a special API. Amazon also introduced other AI models like Titan Text Lite for simple text tasks and Text Express for chat apps. They are extending legal protection to users of their Titan Foundation models for text-to-image applications. Next, Google DeepMind has introduced a new AI tool, GNOME, that has greatly accelerated the discovery of new materials, creating over 700 new substances so far. These materials are crucial for improving solar cells, batteries, computer chips, and more. The tool uses deep learning to predict the structures of new materials, speeding up a process that traditionally takes years. It combines two approaches, modifying existing materials and creating entirely new ones from chemical formulas. This method has increased the number of known stable materials to 421,000. Alongside GNOME, the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory has developed an autonomous lab that uses machine learning and robotics to create new materials without human intervention. This lab can conduct experiments and adapt its methods based on the outcomes. The integration of GNOME and this autonomous lab demonstrates the potential of AI in material discovery and development, offering significant advancements in technology and clean energy solutions. Okay, next. Stability AI has just released SDXL Turbo, a new AI tool that changes the way we create images from text. 
This amazing model is so fast that it starts making an image as soon as you begin typing your text. It uses a special technique called adversarial diffusion distillation, which lets it create images in just one step. This is a big improvement over older methods that needed multiple steps. If you're curious about the technical side, there's a detailed research paper available. However, keep in mind SDXL Turbo isn't for commercial use yet. The big deal about this model is its single-step image creation, making it faster and more efficient than others. It avoids common problems like blurry images, which some other methods have. It has been tested against other models by having people compare images generated from the same text, and SDXL Turbo consistently performed better, even with fewer steps and less computer power. Moreover, it's really fast. On a high-end computer, it can make a 512x512 image in just 207 milliseconds. You can try SDXL Turbo on Stability AI's platform, ClipDrop. It's a beta version that lets you see how it works in real time, and it's free to use for now. Next, Microsoft has integrated DAL-E3, a powerful AI image creation tool, into Paint for Windows 11 users. This feature, launched after an announcement at a September 26th event, is now accessible to everyone outside the Insider program. Users can generate AI images by clicking the co-creator button in Paint and describing their desired image. The feature produces accurate and varied artistic results, initially available in the Canary and Dev channels since September, and later in the Release Preview channel, it's now open for all Windows 11 users. For those new to AI, Paint includes a simple tutorial to get started. Some users might need to join a waitlist in the app for access, which could take a few days. To use the feature, ensure your Paint is updated. Paint has improved significantly over time, adding features like background removal and layers, akin to Photoshop. These updates are available to all users through the Microsoft Store. All right, that concludes this week's AI news. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.